Good morning, evening, night, fly fish fooders. Um, Cheech here with Fly Fish Food. We're going to bring a pretty cool pattern to you. Um, it's in the mill spec series. It's a it's a PMD. Um, Curtis and I have been doing a lot of floating on on our local river, and we try to fish as many big patterns as we can. But there's a certain stretch of river where the fish were always just rising to PMDs. And so we, we would go through so many flies. I wanted something that would both float high, be durable, but also I wanted something that was a quick tie. And so the mill spec uh, parachute, you know, along with a lot of our other mill spec patterns, but the, the, this is a parachute pattern you can fish as an adult mayfly. So anyway, let's get after it. This is a Fulling Mill Ultimate Dry Fly Hook. Uh, I'm going to do it in a size 16, but I fish them anywhere between 16 and 20. Um, now usually with the Mill Spec series I'm using UTC thread, but for this one I'm going to use Uni thread because I really like this light Cahill color. It really matches our PMDs uh, well. So the thing about this color is you kind of have to be careful um, or, or UTC is you, you have to unwind your thread quite a bit to make it lay flat so keep that in mind. So we're gonna dress the hook all the way to the back but don't trim off the tag end. We're gonna use that to split our tails. It's kind of a cool technique. So we're gonna leave the tag end here. The tails are going to be just mayfly tailing fibers and I'm gonna use four of them even though mayflies only, or PMDs only have two tails, I'll use four. So just using the light done color, I think, or it's medium, it doesn't really matter. They're all so similar, but um, I have four of them just to kind of give a better, better idea to the fish that they're split, they're split tails. Um, they're gonna float a little bit better as well if you use four instead of two. So I'm going to lay these on here and I want them to be a little bit longer than the hook shank because that's just kind of how mayflies are. Their tails are super long when they're adults. So keeping my wraps fairly close together, I'm just going to wrap forward. And uh, from here, I'm going to take my thumbnail and push it up under those tails to kind of splay them out. And from here I can grab two and put them on one side and the other two and put them on the other. So that's about how I want my my tails to sit. Now to get them to stay that way I'm just going to bring this piece of thread up between them and catch it. Now I can trim that off. All right, so once I get my tails wrapped all the way forward, I'll trim those off. And now I'm gonna taper up just a little bit of a body, going back and forth, rem rem remembering to unwind my thread. And as you can see, it, it kind of still wants to say, stay corded up. And that's fine. So that's basically going to be the body, but now to make it, you know, the, the give it the segmentation, I'm going to flatten my thread out as good as I can here. I'll even try to use my just whip finisher, something smooth and metal to kind of burnish it a little bit to get it to lay down. And I'll take it all the way to the back. And once I have it there, I'm going to grab a marker. This is from like a combo pack at Walmart. It's a Bic brand, but it's like a light tan. When it goes on this thread, it, get, it gets kind of dark. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to color up about, you know, two to three inches worth. And I'll use that to create the segmentation on this fly. Just like that so it's it's a very subtle segmented body you don't want it super dark for the post and as you notice I don't tie in my parachute posts until I get up to that point just because uh, the way I tie them in you don't need to 
but this is just EP trigger point fibers in pale morning done color so I'll tie in a, a small clump of those right on top of the hook shank and now I'll take my thread and wind around the base here Okay, we're tied in nice and tight. Okay, so this color of hackle that we're going to use is, is kind of a cool one. It's not cream, it's not badger, it's not light done. It's called light tan done, which in my mind is a perfect representation of what a PMD color should be. It's, it's not that bright, bright yellow, uh, just buggy enough. And you can use it on betas and caddis, all different kinds of bugs. So I'm going to peel off a, a healthy section of stem here and I'm going to tie that in with the shiny side or the colorful side of the hackle facing me and wrap up the hook or up, up the parachute post and then back down. And that will give me a good foundation to wrap that parachute post on. And again, you know, you might, with PMDs, they vary in color so much. Um, you can use anything from Pale Morning Dun color, which for this bug is a little bit too yellow. Um, I'm going to use a color just like the thread called Light Cahill. And it's more of a creamy color that I like for this bug. And I guess essentially we're, we're tying a Light Cahill pattern as well. So <laughs> feel free to, to use that. So I'll just dub a little bit of thread on the, or a, a dubbing on the thread, just enough to dirty the thread and give us a little bit of appearance of a thicker thorax. And the goal is just to kind of cover up that section of hook where we tied in the post. When I finish this, I want to make sure that I one more wrap. What I wrap my thread around the the parachute post one last time because that's where I'm going to tie off my hackle. Okay, so once I'm here, I'm going to take this hackle and I'm just going to gently pull it down to give the, the hackle a little bit of a crease in the stem. And what that does is it creates a more natural wrapping point for when I start wrapping this hackle and it's not going to trap any fibers down, or at least it shouldn't. So as I wrap this, I want to make sure that that shiny side is staying pointing down and I can give several wraps of that hackle as you can see it's just a tiny bit oversized but these hooks frankly are a little bit shorter shank so if you want to use less hackle than that you can if you want to use more you can this is about right where I like them because some of the water we fish these is a little bit bumpy so then I'm going to take my thread, I'm going to go underneath the wrapped hackle, but on top of the, the not wrapped hackle, the stem, and that ties off this hackle. Now I can just drop everything. As you can see, that's a really nice parachute profile. So now I can come in here and trim off my hackle. And for this part, I really like the Wapsi Z-Mint. Curtis has a thing for uh, these bodkins, I guess. He's got five bodkins. Curtis. Man, I'm just glad that he's not hoarding Renzetti Master Vices, because then we'd be out of money. But if you can't find these bodkins online on our shop, it's because Curtis has them all on his desk. Okay, so I just got a tiny little bit of super glue. You can see there's just a tiny dab of it on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch that dab. I'm actually going to take a little bit off. I'm going to touch that dab right where my thread last touched. And that will effectively super glue that in place. Oh, don't put it into the chair. 
and then I can trim my thread off and my fly is good to go. So from here, I'm just going to come in here and trim off my parachute post about that tall. You can make it longer or shorter as you want. You can come in here and trim it like a, like a wing or whatever. But this is a really basic parachute pattern, uh, the mil spec PMD.